Good morning, folks. This is the first operational photograph taken by Meteosat 10 as it replaces Meteosat 9 courtesy of NOAA's Environmental Visualization Lab. This shows you just how complete the Australian heat wave was, perhaps I shouldn't use the past tense there. EU, staving off GMO corn, 10 points guys, beat them back as long as you can. Coming to the RSOE alert map, we see three little piggies on the Kamchatka Peninsula. Wait a minute, those aren't piggies, quite the volcanic day in northeast Russia. Southeast Pacific Ridge was rocking a bit and luckily the matching subduction zone quakes were not bigger. Southeastern parts of Africa took inches of rain yesterday. The flooding has spread beyond the initial areas to South Africa as well. Cyclone Gary and Cyclone Animal Love are visible here. You'll note Oswald is gone now but the damage to North Queensland areas has been done. Gary got a mean left hook but isn't very good with the compass. Cyclone Peta already atop the west coast and not expected to strengthen much as it crosses west and into the Indian Ocean. Two comments for Europe right now. First, this spinning cloud system is a thunderstorm, wind, and flooding threat to the Mediterranean. And as the weekend approaches, it is going to get very cold. Top part of the frame, you can see a lot of lake effect snow, record levels set in New York. There are no large low pressure systems present, just low temperatures, as that does say negative 48 degrees. How cold is it north of the border? Oh, and we might see frost south of the border. After 20 days without a gamma burst, we got one from way up north out of Ursa Major. A solar wind telemetry shows the speed in yellow dipping below 300 kilometers per second, very low, indicative of weakening solar magnetics and allowing increasing cosmic ray density showing on the second panel from both spaceship Earth and the muon monitors. Yesterday we watched one plasma filament rip away, but watch how it affects the field of the filament further south. We'll watch this twice so you can see the tug. When I noticed that, I decided to get some parting shots, figuring we didn't have much longer before we had to say goodbye to this one too, and as I dreamt the night away, she slipped through the sun's grasp and released to the heavens. As she did so, heading south away from the Earth, a simultaneous surface event occurred from the active region we're watching on the northwest. This is that spot that was born before our eyes. The beautiful eruptive feature did not produce a large CME. Speaking of these active regions and magnetic classification, haven't even had a sea flare from this group in days. NOAA has it labeled beta gamma, but since last night's labeling, the complexity has disappeared. Clearly separated polarity indicates it's just beta. Northeastern limb has some candidates, including one way north for this part of the cycle. Earth footprint is grainy on the right side, means it's behind the limb, still attached completely to that mega spot that disappeared a few days ago. If it pops, we could feel it. Also got the coronal hole pointed right at us, coronal hole stream on its way. If you missed the video from two nights ago, Energy from Space, it is linked right below this video or you can search for it easily. It was meant to be viewed by newbies, those of your friends and family not yet awake and who might not respond to the wilder theories and videos on YouTube. We can wake up a lot of folks with the elite zone words. Remember, they're still asleep drinking that mainstream propaganda. Wake them up, then dump the rest on them to see if it sticks. I want our community to be taken seriously so very much. Eyes open, no fear at 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.